I'm going to show you this really cool formula you can use in Google Sheets to display the number of values you have in things. So like you can display the number, I'm going to use stars, but any emoji, any symbol, anything like that. So I have this basic Google Sheet set up where I have my student names over here on the left and I just put five tasks. This could be anything. Um, number of times you've turned homework in or maybe like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. But I did make this column right here where it says total and I made that to be what it was. If you look at the formula, it is the sum of all of these tasks. So I just basically wrote the sum of B6 to F6. So just basically getting the sum of all of this because the formula you need is like a repeat formula. It's repeating, putting these stars in, and you can use any symbol here you want for whatever is inside that total. So I'll show you how this works. So let's say my first student, Adam Zappel, on task one, he got one point. When I go to the next cell, it automatically puts the value in that total column over here. So maybe on task day number two, he got five. And you can see it's automatically creating on this H column all of the stars totaling up. So maybe he had 12 on this day, and 2 on this day, and 14 on the last day. What we get is a visual representation of this number, the number of points or whatever it is that you're counting, all with this formula. So like I said, you can replace the symbol with anything you would like, a character, a digit, an emojicon, anything that you would like, but what's really cool is it allows you to make that visually representative of however many points they got. And there's another sample. I did it with just one task. So in this case, you have your student names, whatever that task is, and whatever number I put in here, 22, automatically puts those number of stars there. 1, 14, so it's a kind of a cool way to visually see the points that you're earning towards something. So once again, that formula that you need to know, right there. You're repeating whatever symbol it is and just have to select which cell you're getting that value from.